This is OFFS3T, otherwise known as Offset the Game, on Newgrounds.com. And that is the game's villain, and this is the game's hero. He's got a big gun, and apparently his name starts with a Z? I don't know. I need to adjust my volumes real quick. Let me see if it'll let me. Yep, there we are. So this is Offset. We'll go into the credits real quick. It's by Most Wrong King. Okay, Most Wrong King has created this game. It is a puzzle game. It has pictures, and uh, there's not much to explain, so I'm going to talk about stuff if I can remember what I wanted to talk about. Oh, that's kind of all of the above. Let's, uh, I guess, start at the first one. Mm -mm. So, as you go through this game, I'll explain on the first one. You can, there is a hint button. I never used it. Um, and I guess this is a restart button or go back to the main menu button. The goal here is you have a picture and then there's going to be things kind of cut out of the picture. And you have to kind of put the picture back together the normal way. But they all interact kind of differently. This one goes up and down. This one spins around. And this one also spins around except by clicks. So that one's done. Of course, you swing this like that. That one's done. And if you bring this down to right about there, that one's done. And then it gets all glitchy, and then it tells you where the picture came from. This, for example, is South Africa, and the photographer is Giampiero Torello. I don't like my accent when I said that. Anyway, South Africa, ugly looking place if this is what it looks like. I understand that this is a particular part of South Africa. Most likely a part near the coast, given the water. <clears throat> so again, here's some shapes and we gotta fix them. Um, I went to see RoboCop. RoboCop's an okay movie, it's not as good as the original. I saw Frozen. Frozen is a ridiculously good movie. Absolutely love it. The Wave at Full Moon, USA. This looks like, I'm not sure where The Wave is, um, but this kind of structure looks very... Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, California area um, as far as the, the, the type of rock and the wind cut erosion. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. I know there are. Oh, okay. So this one goes this way and we're going to want to line up right here. Uh, this one, we're going to want to line up right here. I am currently in the process of um, a bunch of different things for work. I think right about right about there. Um, I have my research project kind of still in the middle of getting started because I have to wait. I've had to wait for um, approval right about there. Right? No? There we go. Chocolate Hills, Philippines. These do not look like chocolate. We understand, Homer. We come from the land of chocolate. These do not look like chocolate. I mean, like, maybe like raspberry chocolate. A little bit. It's a very pretty looking place, though. I think I would like to visit there. Um, I've had to get approval through the in, uh, Institutional Review Board at the University of Oklahoma. And they said I didn't exist. And then I had to get approval... Um, I had to get them to acknowledge my existence, and then I had to go to um, the VA's Research and Development Review Board and get approval from them, which we just got. Um, we actually got it on, like, February 5th, but they didn't send us the actual letter. This is a seahorse formed out of ice in Greenland. They didn't send us... Oh, there we go. You have to break it apart first. Um, they didn't send us the approval until just like this last week. So only now can I submit my uh, data request to the warehouse so that I can get the data I need in order to put together my research project. This is a major problem insofar as I have multiple presentations to give um, next month that require me to talk about my research project. Oh, this is a fun one. All right, this one goes about there. This one goes about there. 
and this one goes about there. All right, let's see how. Yeah, I gotta move this one up. These ones are weird because th because they're spinning. You gotta. Uh, I gotta go over a little bit, I guess. See if that'll click in. Nope, still looking to get that in about the right spot. Um, yeah, so I have to give presentations for job interviews and such. All right, just spin around. Spin there, somewhere right about there. And at the moment, I have, you know, I've been so delayed in getting my data started that I'm not going to have any data to present. Um, really? You're still not, you're still not going to give it to me. All right, let's see here. And go. So something may be right about there. This is difficult to play with because you got to wait for it to spin into position. And sometimes it's touchy. Sometimes it'll move further and sometimes it'll move shorter distances. All right, let's see how well that matches. Okay, needs to come down a bit. Let's see how well that matches. Come up over a bit. I don't know exactly what its problem is. Still needs to come down. <clears throat> but the good news is I have three job interviews lined up so far. Um, I submitted a lot of applications. It still needs to come down a bit. And uh, the the three earliest ones that were due... Oh, see, that moved quite a bit. The three earliest ones that were due have now come back. Oh, this is a fun one. You have this shape like the pyramid, the cube, and the cylinder. And then each of the individual little bits moves. So... There we go. Um, right there. So I'm not sure how many more interviews I'll be getting, but, you know, I'll keep an eye out for them. Um, the good news are the... Basically, the one of the jobs I was most interested in was the first one that got back to me. And... Uh, um, is there another piece? Oh, this piece right here. <clears throat> One of the is there no music playing? I thought there was music. I'm going to adjust my volume real quick if I can hear some music. No, it's, it's not going to let me move my volume, so I have to go down here. Huh. Whoa! There we go. Okay, so I guess the music does play... Um, except when I'm not selecting this. Okay, so here, the picture's there, but what you have to do is bust out all of this stuff in front and get to the picture in the background. Then, this one's kind of fun because you have to change not only... You basically have to spin it and then get it to the right size. There we go. And that's a bit of an issue. All right, right there. Perfect. <clears throat> so, as of right now, I have interviews in Dallas, um, in Louisiana, and in Wyoming. I was offered an interview at a school in um, California. The problem is the California school is a for-profit school. And um, in addition to sort of... I don't know if it's necessarily an ethical issue, but I don't think that pharmacy schools should necessarily be for-profit. Um, but it also means that my loan repayment program, which requires me to work for a nonprofit or, um, government entity would no longer count. Oh my gosh. I remember this one. I hate this one. Okay. All right. Let's move this over here. Do that. And do. Oh, come on. Which one? Oh, I'm over a little bit too far. There we go. Um, it would no longer count. And so my I'm three years into the program, so I might as well just finish it off. Click. Come on. Click into place. Why do you, why do you hate me? That is where that goes, right? Um, maybe I'm just not over far enough. There we go. See, some of them are just touchy. 
you're pretty much in the right spot. The game should just acknowledge, yeah, you basically got it. We'll give it to you. There we go. <clears throat> so I told the uh, the guy when he offered me the interview there that I'm going to decline. Um, I was very nice about it. The interesting thing about this school is there's a faculty member there. Um, when I had first went gone on my interview at the uh, meeting in December, there... Come on, this is that rock. Where do I need to be here? The rock is right there. There we go. Um, when I first went to interview, the website for the school was not um, online. There was no information really online. Um, when the guy sent me the interview uh, request... Come on, lock into place. Hmm. Oh, I see what's going on here. I remember this one now. Uh, when he sent me the interview request, there was suddenly more information available on the internet regarding the school. And so I went there, and the youngest faculty member that's already there, um, most of the faculty are older. And so I wanted to see the younger ones, since they would be the ones that I'd probably be working with um, a lot and for quite a long time. <clears throat> Uh, there was only one really young pharmacist, and I say really young, but just younger. And when I googled that pharmacist's name, the very first thing that comes up is the State Board of Pharmacy revoking the pharmacist's license um, for issues. Ah, oh, this is a cool one. So where your mouse is, you can see the background, and then you basically have to put the picture together um, from that. So let's do that. Let's do that. Close enough. Uh, this one up, this one down. So that's a bit scary, too. All right. Uh, there we go. If you're looking to set these up, what I'm doing most of the time is just lining up the wires. Um, the wires are going to be your best option to line up because they're straight parallel lines that are pretty simple to match. This one's really simple. You just click oh and then you get these ones oh boy all right so here you just click until um, you get the picture to match and then when you get the picture to match you have to stop for a moment because if you click through too fast um, it will not register and you can always tell which one you need because what will happen is I'll click this one until it matches this one so here they match so it's always the very next one so that's all you have to do. So this is now matches this, so then I click once more. And then I get this green one, so then I click once more. And then once again, I get the green one there, so then I click once more and it all matches up and everything's fine. Lofoten, Norway. Or Lofoten, or Lofoten. I don't speak Norwegian. Oh, this is the worst one. All right, so here you have to, you, you see all of this glitchy, nasty, JPEG artifacty kind of stuff here. What you want to do, all of the pieces are stacked on top of each other here. So you drag them down and match them up. Now the thing is, they don't match exactly. If you look, the red here doesn't quite match exactly with the red and the rock doesn't match exactly because of all the artifacts and pixelation. But it's close enough and then it'll click into place. Um, this one's the top here. There we go. See how that doesn't even come close to where the dark spot was on the background? This one is the one that always gave me the most trouble. There we go. This red spot here was all the way over here. I mean, that's a that's a considerable distance away. All right, this one, you got to match up these rocks in the background. Um, this one is matching up the trees. And this one's again matching up the trees. Come on, there we go. Everything clicks into place. USA! USA! I love how when they mention it's in USA, they just kind of leave it at that. Earlier with the waveform, they don't specify a state or a city or anything like that. I don't know how granular Lofoten, Norway is. Is, is it the name of a city? Is it the name of a province or a state or other municipality within Norway? Or is it like a, a forest or a park or some name like that? 
But I mean, literally, to just call it USA. When I think of America, this is exactly what I picture in my mind. Ah, yes. This one has a dolphin in the middle. All of the pieces that they have here, except one, go inside of this dolphin. Um, so you go ahead and find this one. Goes right here. And this one is the rest of the tree. Um, we need one with a tree piece on the side here. That's that. And this one's the rest of that tree. And then we need these trees and these trees. And then you're left with this one extra piece, and that one you just have to match up and get it kind of in place on the outside. Dixie National Forest, USA. Now see? That's what I'm talking about. Dixie National Forest. National Forest should probably be two words and not one big national forest uh, stuck together. But you can't blame them. Stefan Forster probably thinks that forest just gets put on the end of other things. This one's kind of fun. It's basically 52 card pickup. All you do is you click all of the pieces and they flick right into where they're supposed to go. So the big issue is just recognizing that there's a bunch of pieces. And I think the first time I did this, there was one that I missed. Um, and I'm looking at the picture and it's all done and it didn't keep going. And I'm like, did I, did it glitch? Did I mess something up? And there was one piece of wood and it was on top of this bridge here, and it was almost lined up as far as the grains go. And so it looked like it uh, was very much in place. Croatia. Now see, this is the whole of Croatia. If, if I were to drop you from an airplane and you parachuted down into Croatia, this is what you'd see. Doesn't matter where you ended up, it would look like this. Um, this is one where you have to clear out all of this background photo. When I first did this, I thought I messed up. I thought when I saw these pieces that I'd have to then bring them inside and uh, put them down. But if you examine, if you go back and examine this and like pause the video, you'll see that it's the same like four or five pieces just repeated and pasted over each other again and again and again. And so you are supposed to clear out pretty much all of this extra pixelation and stuff. Dun, 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 dun. So after submitting a bunch of job applications and after uh, getting some job interviews already lined up and ready to go, just yes, uh, the other day, a hospital in New Mexico in Albuquerque posted an opening for an infectious disease pharmacist. This upsets me. Oh, I should tell you, this one piece up here, um, I don't know if it's always the top left, but one of them is going to be the entire photo, and then the other ones will be actual pieces. And I don't think it will let me line up the pieces now. I think I have to get the whole photo into position. There we go. And then it will let me snap them into place. But it's upsetting because... Um, it's as close as possible to getting to Arizona as uh, with respect to open jobs. Highly toxic volcanic lake Indonesia. That's where I have one of my timeshares. It's actually hidden by the clouds in the back. <laughs> the toxic clouds. It's in the background here. Oh, this is the worst one. This one's the most difficult to get um, lined up properly. So, I think what we do here is get that one in and then get that one in perfect i thought because these were squares they would somehow line up with this but they don't and that's actually the hardest piece right there this piece is the hardest yeah so i was hoping that um i shouldn't say i was hoping i find out that there's this job opportunity at the very tail end of uh my interview process in other places and it's also the one that's closest to my house. But it seems to have the least teaching potential based on what I've seen from the job description. And I do like teaching. That doesn't mean I'm not going to apply for it. Uh, this one... Uh, where did you go? Alright, this one is... Hard to see. Is this the one that goes here? Doesn't quite look like it. Hmm. 
And this one does not have anything in the background to tip me off. This one I spent quite a lot of time on the first time I played this, too. Trying to see exactly where this went. Was this... Right here? It doesn't look like it. No. It doesn't really look like this, either. Oh, looks like this, though. Yep. And then that means this one... Again, the brightness pattern... Looks like it might be right here. Because this sharp line matches that sharp line. There you go. Yeah, Ice Cave, Iceland. That was a difficult one. I did not like this one because it was... Because of the black and whiteness of it and trying to match up the highlights. This one's pretty fun. This one is... These are... Um, all five of these pieces are on each of these. And then you just scroll up and down to the correct one. And they are not... Um, in a particular order, such that you're always using the top one, uh, you know, like you're lining them up bottom to top or anything, which I think is a good thing. There's that. This one is obviously the piece with the castle on it. Um, so yeah, there's a job opening that I'm considering applying to because it's as close as possible to my house back home in Arizona. Um, but it does mean yet another interview possible you know if i get chosen for an interview and uh there we go just more hassle and i'm getting to the point where you know i'm waiting and expecting some of these other uh job applications to come back with interviews and if they do i might be overloaded with interviews and I feel bad complaining about that because it's just like, oh yeah, what a what a problem to have. Too many people wanting to give you a job. All right, so there's this thing that's in the way, and I don't care about it. All right, moot hipster, get out of my way. This obviously, you can see a big green spot. Great big green spot. Come over here, click, and then we've got this one, which has this sharp thing and this sharp thing, so those match up. There we go. And then this hipster thing, you have this bright spot and this bright spot, which line up, right? Like, well, that's not a good example. There we go. Come on, click into place. I know I can just maneuver it until, yeah, it'll disappear completely. Basically like that. There you go, Iceland. Yay. I don't know if that uh, layers tool thing actually ever does anything or not. The winner! Look! Stacks of cash. Big fat stacks of cash at that. And that's the end of the game. Um, it's a cute little puzzle game. For the most part, um, I'm not hearing any music still, but hopefully some music is being recorded. For the most part, when I'm playing it, I like the fact that all of the puzzles are different. Um, you don't have to solve it the same way each time. Uh, they don't really get that much more difficult than each other, so it's just the fact that, uh, you know, there's the the variety and just uncovering the different photos because they're very nice photos uh, is a good deal because they're all you know like I said they're all very well taken photos professional photographers and so it's very interesting but yeah that's offset game if we scroll down a bit you can see I've got all the achievements by spiker562 and sponsored by games hero are you ready to check your logical thinking and watchfulness here you have a great opportunity to check these skills and at the same time enjoy some photos of the world's most beautiful places made by famous photo artists just restore broken after glitches images what's more here to explain huh your english that's what's more here to explain huh oy vey all right until next time bye bye